Now that I want to render this out, click render to see the current result that I have. And later I'm going to show you how we can improve the result by adding extra subdivisions using the Cat Clark filter. This is the current result that I have. As you can see, it's not really great. It's pretty wobbly and wonky. And that's because it's trying to make a nice displacement out of relatively simple geometry. Relatively simple geometry because these are really detailed, so this is not enough for it. But before I do so, I want to also talk about the fact that when we select on the displacement node, you would notice here that by default it's set to 1, which is typically really high. So go with 0.3 for instance. So now we're getting a decent displacement. Let's make it a bit ambitious. 0.4 and now what I want to do is to select on the geometry itself, go to Arnold, go to subdivisions, and then in here I'm gonna change it to Cat Clark. So let me compare before the Cat Clark and after. So this is before and after, before, after, but I can still do an even better job by adding more iterations. So I'm gonna add like five, which is kind of really high. Be very careful with this threshold here. It could easily crash your computer or your file. Now notice how amazing this is. Pretty good details there. So let me increase the resolution of the rendering so we can have a really good look at it. It's pretty incredible. Now, if I want to even be more ambitious about how detailed this would be, I can add more iterations, but keep in mind that this is basically a displacement of pixels. So it will get really warped in some of the spots here. The important thing is, is that when you look at it from slight distance, it looks fantastic. Pretty much as good as high resolution geometry. I hope this helps.